Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. about today's haul because if you didn't know already, which you probably don't because I guess I have not really talked about this much, but I'm a huge fan of Outlander. I mean, it's kind of hard not to be when like, Jamie. Man, oh, Jamie. <laughs> Anyways, I've been obsessively watching for a little bit. I like binged the first two or three seasons in a matter of a week and I know the new season is coming out soon and I also know that Torrid tends to do an Outlander collection every I mean every season basically and I was lucky enough to be able to get a few of the pieces of this year's Outlander collection because not only do I love the show I've also really been eyeing the fashion a lot like the fashion in it is just my cup of tea there's a lot of things like Claire wears and even like other people that that I just, I want very badly, even before I watched the show. Every time Torrid would put out the Outlander collection, I was just like, um, I need that. So obviously, as you're seeing, this is a haul of some of the Torrid Outlander pieces. These are all on the website, but I'm gonna make it super easy for you guys, gonna have links to everything. And before I get into it really quick, make sure you subscribe if you're new. I upload three times a week. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell down below for notifications on when I put up new videos. And now that I've got all that out of the way, I am really, really excited to show you the pieces that I got from this year's Outlander collection. Grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. So in a usual fashion, I'm going to start with the piece that I'm wearing. It's this really cute floral dress. And like, admittedly, when I saw it in the package, I was like, first off, this looks like a little bit different from what I was expecting. I didn't really necessarily see the Outlander in it and I also just sort of felt like, you know, it's a it's a floral dress. They're nice. It's not necessarily a dress by any means that I would have picked up on my own until I put it on my body. Reason being, well, there's a few reasons. First off, the sleeves are incredible. I love the way it looks. It gives it a little bit more of like that 70s vibes. This is definitely reminiscent of some of the fashion that I've seen in the show and I'm really glad they sent it because I never would have picked it out for myself but I really really like it on. I think I'm actually going to keep this on for the day while I go run my errands and it is like the perfect fall dress because it's moderately heavy. It's just really flowy and pretty. This is a good casual dress and then very easy to dress up as well. I'm wearing this in a size 22. I kind of gave them my sizes before they sent stuff and I told them I'm like a usually like a 3x, 23, whatever the kind of like sizes are on the website and they sent this one along in a 22 because I am assuming and also based off of the way that this fits that it runs relatively small. Like everywhere else aside the waist is great but the waist itself is like a little bit snug. I don't know if you can see but like the little seam here is just like a little bit snugger than I would have anticipated so I'm very glad that I got it in a 22 as opposed to my typical size like 20. It also has like a string which I can't really show you here and I actually don't think I showed it in the footage but there's a string here. I've tied it towards the back but I, you can also tie it towards the front. I just feel like there's already a lot of really pretty aspects going on in the front but yes I actually like this one so much more than I thought and I don't know if you can spot it but there's like this little lace detail right at the hem which I think just makes it a little bit more outlander and I really really like this piece and I'm very glad they sent it. I fell in love with it the second I put it on. And then with that I put on this coat which is very very unique to anything that I own but let me tell you these two together it's a look. I think it makes it a little bit more outlander. This one is in a size 3x. Definitely a really great fit. Well, I, what I will say though, however, is if you are planning on wearing anything thick underneath this, I would say size up 
because for me, I found that the buttons kind of go around one of my widest parts, so it is a little bit on the snugger side than maybe I would have hoped. This is like a waterfall coat, then it has this like corset detailing in the back, which I just realized is like suede. Also makes it very like Outlander as well, and gives you like a little bit more definition, also depending on what you feel and what you like. And honest to God, like these two together, they are a freaking look. I love it so much. I don't know how else I would wear this because it is such a unique piece, but I really, really want to play around with it. I like that it's a jacket. It gives such like a specific vibe, so I could even see myself wearing this maybe with this dress and a pair of like brown booties or something. But I want to know how you guys would style this. I feel like because it's such a unique piece, you do need to style it in a specific way. So I'd love to hear how you guys would do that. And then keeping with that same pattern, I also got this really, really cute dress in a size 3X. One of my favorite little details is the waist here. It's got these like little buttons. I just love how that looks, especially on the body. I was not disappointed at all. And it is such like a nice heavy fabric. I love the feel of the fabric. It is so freaking comfortable. And I actually wore this out just yesterday. I put a sweater on underneath, like a white sweater that had like bell sleeves and it looked phenomenal. I loved the look together. And people Pieces like this are so great because you can wear it in warmer months, like you could wear it around the spring where it was like a little bit warm, a little bit cold, but then also in like the fall or even in the winter, just put a sweater on underneath, like layer something with this and you've got yourself a freaking look. I definitely say this is one of my favorite pieces overall. If you've been following my Snapchat, like I posted a picture of myself already in this dress and everyone's like, where? Where can I get that dress? I need it in my life. So that's why I'm very excited to be making this haul. It does have like a fair amount of stretch to it. And I don't know that I said the size that I got this in. I got this in a size three. I'd say it's pretty true to size. It's like very comfortable on me, sits very nice. I can't say enough good things about this dress. And I can absolutely see myself wearing this in so many different ways. I don't know so much how I like it, like just like so. Um, I just think like adding a sweater or layering it over something just makes it like incredible. I absolutely love the look. Then they also sent along another coat and I'm not complaining. I'm fairly sure I've seen Claire wearing this coat in the seasons and I was like oh my god I need that coat in my life. It's this absolutely beautiful trench coat with the you know classic Outlander print which I love so much and not only is that the lining but then also there are cuffed sleeves with the lining as well. These aren't like reversible you can't like tuck them back which I'm okay with because I really do like that. I think it just gives it like a little bit of like je ne sais quoi. They sent this one along in a size 3x. It's an incredible size. I actually feel like just around the belt alone a 2x might have been a little bit better because the belt is like a little bit loose. I can't get it like as tight as maybe I would like but it's not like a necessity. I do have a trench but now that I have this one I actually find myself grabbing for it a little bit more. I just love absolutely love the way it looks and also this is heavier than the trench that I already own so this one does a little bit more to warm me up I felt very comfortable in it yesterday and it was pretty cold outside one thing I have to say though and you're probably seeing this in the footage as I was trying this on I was like showing you guys that it has pockets and the pockets have like cute little buttons and then when I went to go button this side up I believe the button fell right off. I could kind of tell that it was like pretty loose. So I'm definitely just going to like sew it right back on and hope for the best and hope that it doesn't fall off again because it's a great jacket and probably my absolute favorite jacket that I own right now. So next up is this sweater that they sent along in a size 3x. When I pulled it out I kind of had that same reaction that I had to this dress where I was like it's not bad I just don't know how much I would wear it. It's not really like me or a piece that I would wear super often but again I feel like this is a really great layering piece and like Overall though, this is a really comfortable sweater on the body. I actually tried this one on last and getting back in this dress was a little bit of a struggle because I just wanted to be cozy in this sweater, but I felt like this dress will look a little bit better 
for filming purposes. And the thing that makes it kind of cool is it's got this like knotted look, I guess that's sort of what it's called, knotted or wrapped look around the like torso area. If you're somebody who kind of likes a piece that hides your belly, if that's something you um, are a little bit concerned about, this is a piece that will like camouflage. I like hate saying that because I'm so not the kind of person to do that and like promote that on my channel, but this um, made me think of that when I put it on. It just has those elements. And like overall, this is just like a really, really good piece to be at home and comfortable and it's just so nice and cozy and warm. It wasn't until I tried it on with the next piece that it just, it just all made sense. <laughs> So this next piece, again, has that same Outlander plaid in this beautiful green color. I love green so much. And it is a pair of leggings in a size 3X, literally perfect, cannot complain. They fit so well. They're so stretchy. They're so soft. It's unbelievable. But this paired with that brown sweater, I was just like, I get it now. I I get it now. It looked so good together. I actually feel like I'm going to wear the outfit a lot. When I first pulled these out of the package, for some reason I thought they were going to be cropped, but they're actually long enough. They go down to my ankle. I'm 5'8". You can see from the footage that they are long. They are great. They fit me like a freaking glove. I cannot even get over them. And I don't have a lot of printed leggings. I have like black leggings that I'll wear around the house. Now that it's going to start to get a little bit colder outside. Leggings like this, which I can tell are on the warmer side, are going to be great if I need to go out, but I want to stay like a little bit bundled because I don't wear jeans very often. Um, at least if I don't have to, I don't wear jeans. I just feel, feel like a pair of printed leggings. It's just so, so much nicer. Overall, I'd say these definitely blew me away the most. I like them so, so much and the quality is just freaking phenomenal. There's also like a lot of stretch to it. They're not super high-waisted, but they're like mid-rise, which is fine for me. I mean, they feel great, and the waistband itself is like nice and thick. It feels very comfortable on the body, because I've definitely wore leggings before that like the waistband just does not feel comfortable on me like whatsoever. Okay, you guys, that is everything for the haul portion of this video, and was I not right? Did I not say these pieces were gonna blow your mind because they blew my mind? I love them so freaking much, and I'm so excited for the new season of Outlander. Let me know in the comments below if you watch Outlander as well. I forgot to say that in the beginning of this video. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but let me know which of these pieces were your favorites, as always. Please don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday, with the occasional vlog on Friday, and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time.